Hello everyone, this is Fiona from Isis. This is the first video of our Easy 5 Minutes. In this new series, we will publish some short videos that will give you some useful computing tips. We hope these videos will give you some insight on computer error troubleshooting and fixing. So please don't forget to subscribe us so you won't miss any future updates. In today's Easy 5 Minutes, we will talk about a very common thing error after you clone the operating system to a new hard drive. That is, the clone drive is not a viable option to boot. If you have done a clone before, you might be very familiar with these error messages. There are many reasons that could cause this error, but the most common reason is the BCD error. In the next couple of minutes, I will show you how to troubleshoot the BCD error and a quick way to fix it. Without a further ado, let's get started with today's Easy 5 Minutes. In case you don't know what BCD is, it stands for the Boot Configuration Data. You can consider it as a place to give your motherboard a command where to load the booting information on your hard drive. The BCD must be directed to the correct partition that stores all the essential booting data in order to make the new computer bootable. Sometimes when you perform the clone, the BCD is not properly configured, and that is what you need to confirm and fix. Generally, you have two ways to check and fix the BCD error, you can either perform it from the source drive or use the bootable media. In today's Easy 5 Minutes, we will focus on the first situation and in the future updates, we will teach you on how to fix it with the bootable media. So I already built from my source drive and the clone drive was plugged into. The next thing I want to do is to check if my hard drive is an NVR or GPG drive. This is very important because the location of the BCD information is different in these two types of drives. There is a tons of ways to check if you are using an NVR or GPT drive. I will take disk part as an example in this video. Right click on the start button on your screen and select Windows PowerShell. Be sure you select the administrator one. Type in disk part and press enter on your keyboard. Now you are in disk part command. Basically, it is a very powerful command to manage your hard drive. You can access, resize, or delete the partition using this command. If you want to learn more about this command, leave a comment to let me know and I will make a video for that. So to check if your drive is an NVR or GPT drive, just type in list disk and press enter. Now you will see all the hard drive connected to this computer are listed on the screen. So in here I can easily tell disk 1 is my source drive and disk 2 is a target drive. There are some more information you can explore in here but what we need to look for is in here the GPT section. Since both of my drives are not selected in here so it means they are both NBR drives. We type in exit and press enter on the keyboard to exit this part command. Next, what we are going to do is to check if the BCD information on the clone drive is properly configured. So how to tell if the BCD information is correct? Since booting from the source drive is fine, I will use the BCD information of this hard drive as an example. Simply typing in BCD edit and press enter will list the BCD information of the current booting drive, which is disk 1 in my hard drive. There are three places you need to care about on this BCD list. First one is the device under boot manager. This should be directed to the drive that contains the boot manager and the BCD file. In most cases, it is a system drive or your computer. When you boot up your computer, your computer will look for the loading information from the drive you set in here. On my disk 1, the system drive is drive C, so the device partition was set to drive C. Next is the device partition in here. This should be set to the hard drive where your system files are stored. 
and that is the boot partition. Unlike this one, the boot partition is also drive C, so the device partition is here also set to drive C. The last one you need to check is the OS device in here. It should be the same as the previous one, so it should also be the drive C in here. After you know what the correct VCD information looks like, let's take a look at the VCD information on the target drive. To list the VCD for the clone drive, simply type in VCD edit will not work, as the clone drive is not your current booting device. You will need to send a command to look for the VCD stored on your clone drive, which is the drive I. So the full command you need to type in is VCD edit space slash store space i colon backslash boot backslash vcd and then press enter as this queue is completely clone of this one the system and boot partitions should be both drive i but as you can see now the device partition in here and here are still set to drive c so when you try to boot your computer it still tries to look for the loading information from your disk 1, which is wrong. So we will need to correct this and set them back to the drive I on the disk 2. We will correct the first one, simply press up arrow on the keyboard and you will get the content you just type in. And then type in space, set, brace, boot manager, space, device, space partition equals i colon be careful you do not make any type in here and then press enter now it shows the change was successfully made we will correct the second one as the boot drive is also drive i so simply press the up arrow key on the keyboard to get the same content you just used and then change the boot manager to default in the brace and press enter. Lastly, we will do the same change for the OS device. Press the up arrow key again and change the device to OS device and then press enter. Bear in mind that the drive ladder could be different on your computer. Just type in the drive ladder that matches the boot drive on your target drive. After all are done, you can type in again VCD edit to check if all the configuration was made correctly. If yes, you can try to disconnect your source drive and check the clone drive works now. If you are still not sure about how to fix the boot issue, you can contact our tech support at techsupport at isas.com or you can use the link in the description of this video to access our support on the live chat. And we will provide you a very professional assistance to help you fix the boot issue. Next easy 5 minutes, I will show you on how to fix the BCD error for GPT drives. So please subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Fiona and I will see you next time.